The issues are really uh, multiple and really quite unexpected. The first issue being the ability of cruise ships to be able to return to ports and then being able to disembark passengers. But then secondly, questions associated with the disembarkation of crew. Uh, and then in some cases, even the ability of cruise ships to pass through uh, places like the Panama Canal uh, which was really quite unprecedented, which uh, arose in late March, where two cruise ships uh, were unable to get through the Panama Canal without the uh, approval of the Panamanian authorities. Well, principally, they've responded by, in the first instance, closing their ports, which has been relatively unhelpful because all of these cruise ships eventually need to get into a port. Um, in cases like in Australia, where cruise ships have been allowed into ports, uh, they've been allowed quite appropriately under very strict quarantine conditions. But of course, we have a situation arising from the arrival in Sydney Harbour of the uh, Ruby Princess cruise ship on the 19th of March, which is now the subject of a significant inquiry as a result of uh, a large number of the passengers and also crew associated with that cruise ship uh, being infected with COVID-19. So there's been a whole range of different responses and part of the difficulty from an international law perspective is that there's been really no consistency in the response. The first implication is that of course, uh, whilst cruise ships may not be operating at the moment, uh, general shipping is. And so the issues associated with uh, general shipping, which is critical to international trade and commerce being able to effectively operate uh, at a time when uh, foreign crew members will be entering countries who might be suspected of carrying COVID-19. So there needs to be appropriate mechanisms in place under the World Health Organization regulations, but also under appropriate state quarantine laws to allow those merchant ships to arrive. And then once the cruise industry gets back up and running, uh, there will be concerns, I think, about second or third wave issues and the ability of the cruise ships to be able to monitor possible outbreaks of COVID-19 amongst uh, passengers and crew into the future.